Patrick King of Syracuse has his daily routine. Seven days a week, every night. A routine that keeps him alive. They decided that my kidneys were starting to get worse. Uh, they were functioning at between 10 and 15 percent. So they said, you definitely need to go and, you know, see somebody about this now. Now's the time. King has what's called in-stage kidney failure and for the past year has been on dialysis. Some days you feel more energetic than other days. Some days you just don't feel like getting out of bed. King is among the more than 87,000 Americans on the waiting list for kidney transplants. More than 550 are here in central New York. But a controversial new proposal could change the way transplant kidneys are allocated from the current system of first come, first serve. The flaw I see is um, where you're giving a 20-year-old kidney that potentially could last another 20 years to someone who's 70 who, whose lifespan may only be you know, five years. And so you've lost potentially 15 years of a well-functioning transplant kidney. Under the proposed kidney donor profile index, 20% of the best kidneys would go to 20% of the healthiest patients. The other 80% would be matched according to age. An organ donor and recipient could be no more than 15 years apart. But critics of the profile index say this is classic age discrimination. In the new proposal, there is no question that younger patients will be advantaged over older patients. Patrick King is 53, the median age on the kidney waiting list in central New York. But when a kidney becomes available, he's competing with everyone on the national list. The United Network for Organ Sharing here in Richmond, Virginia is in charge of that list and will allocate the more than 10,000 kidneys that are donated this year. But it's the other 80,000 who won't receive transplants who you know hopes to impact with these changes. As long as our reality is that there aren't enough organs, um, we have to try to make the best use of those for all of the people on the waiting list. But King is still concerned. I understand what they're trying to do, but to put a limit on that now for the people that have been waiting for years I think is like changing the rules in the middle of a game. Can't do that. There is news tonight that requires each of us to ask, what would we do? While this story has certainly caught national attention, Paschke says the media has distorted the facts. The, the media coverage has been very incomplete. I've heard from a number of patients who are a little scared because they've only read the headlines and haven't looked at the kidney concept document itself. In a letter to the editor of the New York Times, the National Kidney Foundation president addressed these concerns. Transplant recipients will receive kidneys that are most appropriate for their needs, and a larger percentage of donated kidneys will be used, Davis says. While young people will receive the younger kidneys that may last longer, older kidney patients will not be left out. If they want to do it and make the change, that's fine, but take care of the people that are on the list first. And while he waits, King is just trying to keep hope and himself alive. You just go with it. And like you say, you know, you just live day to day and hope that uh, something happens. Hope for something not so routine. So, but that's, that's how we do it. Veronica Romoser, NCC News.